Next thing we're going to talk about is lighting your fire. You want to make sure, as we talked about, that you have the appropriate amount of charcoal in your firebox for whatever you're cooking. So if you're cooking an 8 to 10 hour pork butt or a brisket, you want to have more charcoal in so you're not having to constantly feed your fire. For something like hot dogs and steaks and burgers, you're going to use less because it's a lot faster cook and you don't want to add a bunch of extra charcoal that's just going to be a waste. So add the appropriate amount of charcoal, making sure that you're keeping two zone cooking, so one side hot, one side empty of charcoal, so you have a place to move your protein if it starts to get too warm. And you're going to take whatever your preferred lighting method is. We like to use Hasty Bake Fire Starter Gel. It's alcohol and ethyl. It burns really clean. It doesn't leave any scent or any taste on your food. You can also use the Weber wax paraffin cubes, strike fire matches. You can even use a charcoal chimney. Now for the options that where you light, unlike a charcoal chimney, you're going to put the wax or the gel or the match on your ash pan directly underneath your firebox. Raise your firebox up about three inches to ensure that flames can lap up at the charcoal and that oxygen can adequately spread that heat around. Put it on the ash pan, slide it in underneath your charcoal, make sure your lid is open and make sure your vents are open. If you light it with the lid closed, you're not allowing enough oxygen in. It's going to take forever for your fire to light, if it even lights at all. Now when you're using a charcoal chimney, you can start that on top of the grates or you can pull your ash pan and your firebox out and start it down in your firebox. One thing to be aware of when you're lighting a charcoal chimney though is that you're lighting a lot more coal in a charcoal chimney at one time than you are when you're using an option like this. That's great for hot and fast grilling, but when you're doing something low and slow like smoking, you don't want that much coal lit, so you may back off to maybe a quarter or a half a chimney rather than using the entire thing or you're going to be fighting temperatures the entire time you're smoking. For more options of how to light your grill and different methods to light it, you can reference our videos on hastybake.com. Last thing I want to talk about when it comes to lighting your grill is which side to light your grill. We get this question a lot. If you're grilling something hot and fast, like steaks or burgers or hot dogs, you want to inject as much oxygen at one time into that fire as you can because you want to get grilling really quick. When you're doing something lower and slower, you want to make sure you're building up that fire real slow so that you don't get out of hand. So we light on different sides based on what we're cooking. When we're doing a hot and fast grill where you're going to be in the bake or the sear position with no uh, heat shield, you want to light on the side of the firebox that's closest to the door. The door allows the most amount of oxygen into your fire. It also allows the most amount of oxygen through the vent and directly injects into your charcoal and it'll heat up a lot quicker. As always, make sure when you're lighting, you're leaving your lid open and you'll get a nice hot bed of coals in no time. Now when it comes to smoking, you want to do the opposite. You want to light on the opposite side of the door and allow that fire to burn toward the door. And here's the reason. When oxygen is behind fire and blowing on fire, it encourages that fire to burn faster and faster and hotter and hotter. That's not what we want when we're smoking. So by lighting the fire on the opposite side of the door, you're causing that fire to reach out and try to move itself toward the oxygen, which is a lot slower process than having the oxygen blow the fire from the back and eat up all the coal. So when I'm lighting for smoking, I fill my firebox and I normally light one corner or the other corner, you can even light the middle, but light on the opposite side of the door to make that fire move as slow as possible. Last thing when we're lighting the fire, when is it done? Great question and here's what it is. We normally like to see about two fistfuls of charcoal being fully lit when you want to smoke on your hasty bake. Any more than that and you may fight temperatures the entire time. Any less than that and your temperatures are going to be too low. So make sure with your lid open when you're lighting you have at least two fistful sizes of charcoal that are burning before you shut your lid down and adjust your vents.